thank you with that i would request toastmaster gokila to take the time to note the time and at the same time i would also request zoom master malvika to create a separate room wherein people can be moved to that breakout session i would request all the three evaluators to move to the breakout session zoom master are we able to move all the three evaluators to the breakout session just give me a second okay thank you meanwhile i will request toastmaster gokila to make to take the notes to take the timing once all the three evaluator moves moves to the different room all together please mention the timing and after 5 minutes let's bring them back in the main call yeah okay it's done uh, uh manish it's done they've been thank you thank you so much malvika okay i think while the evaluators are taking their notes and doing the further evaluation since we have sunil on the call we can we can have some sessions we in terms of the questions so sunil i know that you come from a navy background wow i mean as i was mentioning i got lo goosebumps in the starting of the call what did what did, what was that that prompted you to move from prestigious navy team to the toastmaster i am sure there would be some kind of motivational thing that would have led you to move to the toastmaster if you could please share some some of those examples some of those uh, inputs i am sure we will definitely get benefited out of that so manish first thing is first thing with all due respect to everybody as an evaluator i also need to sit and evaluate the speaker <laughs> i'm sure point. first point so second point is okay to answer your question uh, i've been always passionate about trying to figure out uh, public speaking uh, and i uh, when i was in college i was really shit scared about the stage i used to i was really afraid stage was a nightmare for me i would try to avoid going to stage uh, i don't know how many of you guys are here are engineers you know that uh, in your penultimate year you're supposed to give a, a i mean on the, i think in the sixth semester you are supposed to give a seminar that you are talking to people and um, that was my nightmare and i i was preparing for that the first second year onwards my entire second year was how do i get on stage and do a paper presentation and uh, and and from there you know i started figuring out that i'm really scared about doing it and then somewhere down the line i started liking it and i think uh, Uh, Toastmasters was just an extension of that. That yeah, I really like being on stage, but I felt I was not doing good on stage uh, in that sense, and I wanted to get better and better. And that's that's why we are all here, and I'm also there for the same reason. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Sunil. Uh, Sunil, uh, another thing is, I mean, uh, since you have been in the Toastmaster space since 2016, and I'm sure you would have uh, gone through different phases and. Um, Play different roles as well, right? So, how did you how did you cope up with those different roles? Because it's not easy to move from one role to another. Today you would be playing the evaluator role. Today, tomorrow you will be playing the chief evaluator role, and subsequently you also plays play the speaker role. So, how did you cope up with those things? No, I I believe that uh, you need to prepare for whatever role that you're coming. Okay, whether you're doing giving a speech, I think. Uh, many times i have seen speakers don't prepare enough which is unfortunate because that you are not doing justice to you obviously but your colleagues in toastmasters have given you their 7 minutes of their life in 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 a in a time when we have social media we have ott everything is on beck and call if you are not giving 7 minutes worth of really good um content to people really good means whatever is your good okay 
for somebody the good may be at at certain level and somebody else's good may be at a very different level that's fine but your preparation and your endeavor to give the best to the audience and best to whoever is the role taker now if today's speaker is done a really good job the evaluators will have it more harder and they will be really pushed to, to give a really good evaluation similarly if today evaluators are really doing a great job as general evaluator i will work that much more harder to add value to them so every if all of us do our best then invariably the bar gets going up and up but if all of us take this like okay it's just another thing i need to do in life uh, like my cup of coffee in the morning which is very important obviously uh, uh, but if we do that then invariably uh, we are not being fair to i mean all of us you know in the club so i feel that whichever you take you need to do your homework whether you're taking them uh, you know like you're the moderator or if you're like the zoom the moderator also and the speaker the evaluators any role you take i think you need to do your homework and you need to come to the club after doing your homework. and that's the only way don't take it lightly that's right. and yes. have fun obviously have fun. that's true that's true sunil and in fact i echo that statement because uh, as you rightly mentioned if a person is spending even 2 minutes of their time i think the other person should respect that and at the same time they should always come with a full preparation that's absolutely right i think with that i also have another question actually uh, sunil okay i think uh, we are done with the 5 minutes timing uh, sorry sunil i'll continue with that question in the end actually <laughs> okay so zoom master can we bring uh, bring back all the evaluators uh, in the meeting please okay so we we bring in back the first evaluator no and the rest we keep it in the breakout room no? we will bring all the evaluators here but first we'll go in the sequence manner, manner so one by one all the three evaluators will give their feedbacks okay. okay so we start with the first evaluator then the the other two remain in the yeah understood yes okay timer please make a note of that our first evaluator is toastmaster smruti toastmaster smruti The stage is all yours. No, one second. One second. One second. One second. He's not here yet. Who oh, is it? He is it? No, uh, Alok is here. So, are we having all the evaluators here at one shot? Yes, that's true. That's true. And and everybody listens to everybody else's evaluation. Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, ideally, what you should do is, uh, <laughs> ideally, what you should do is, I mean, I think this is a better way. Ideally, what you should do is, the other evaluators should be in the breakout room. Okay. Bring in the first. Uh, a uh, first evaluator uh, let the first evaluator finish then you bring in the second evaluator then you bring in the third evaluator sure. and till the and till the one evaluator finishes the other evaluator like for example okay if uh, if let, uh, let's look at it if if uh, some let's if soon if i'm the first evaluator i come in i finish the evaluation then the second evaluator comes out of the breakout room okay. uh, malavika yeah yes yeah, uh, because that is the a uh, method they use during the evaluation contest i'm just trying to be religious to that okay fine okay. yeah we can do that no problems i'll just put them back yeah. and i'll uh, get them out one at a time because otherwise one person's evaluation will impact influence the other then doesn't make any sense sure. that's true sir yeah so who's the first evaluator So our first evaluator is uh, Toastmaster Smruti. Uh, just wanted to confirm with uh, Malvika, are have we moved the other two evaluators to the? Both are both are here. Hello, can Malvika? I just, uh, I have been called into that uh, this room, so I thought uh, they have changed the sequence or what? I okay, so let's let's go first with the with Smruti. So one second, one second. The the other one, two people are there or here? So let me I'll... let me go back again. Then uh, please uh, send me the breakout room. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. Just give me a second. Oh, yes. the technical glitches <laughs> always happen. So I'm, nothing new. It's okay. Uh, my Zoom moderator is part of evaluation team today, so I'm trying to figure this out for myself. Okay. I'm very sorry about this because something is happening that I'm not able to understand. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, so. Okay. Are we good or uh, shall no, I no, go they, ahead? They, no, they are still here. Alok and Malvina is still there. Okay. I hope I'm spelling, uh, I'm pronouncing Malvina's name correctly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, saying that the evaluators are still in the room, so I think Alok and Malvina just. I think you can join the breakout room. 
I can join the breakout room because I'm the co-host. I have the option, but I think uh, I don't know about Alok. Alok, can you just join the breakout room as well? Because it's saying over here that you can join it. Uh, okay. Uh I think uh, Alok moved. Yeah, okay, we're done. Yeah, we're done. Thank you. Thank you so much, Malvika. Sorry so, about I, I think you can unpin me and you can pin the evaluator. No? Yeah, I think uh, Smriti is still not being unpin, uh, pinned. Uh, can we do that? No, that's okay. That's okay. I mean, okay. Okay. Uh, Okay, so our first evaluator is uh, Toastmaster Smriti. Toastmaster Smriti, the stage is all yours. Please go ahead. Hello. Good evening, uh, fellow Toastmasters and uh, guests. So, so today I'm evaluating Vijay's speech uh, on like eleven people. So, uh, Congrats, Vijay, for this uh, speech, and which which is on like living extraordinary life, which resonated with my own goals and purpose. You uh, you all reminded us on our purpose as human being to be responsible towards the society. Uh, I think you planned and structured the speech very well. You started with, well with few examples like it's not just the job bank balance uh, matters yeah. it's uh, yeah. like we want to be a role model to, uh, for the society and to be mr popular it is not easy we have to uh, we need commitment and unbearing dedication and you dem like demonstrated well with three approaches pass on personal branding and giving back to society and mostly how we can impact to the world. So I believe on the structure part, it was all well. And clarity of the speech was also good. I could understand each and every word clearly. And vocal variety was also, I feel good. Uh, like your tone, speed, was perfectly fine it looked fine to me but i i saw like you were sometimes looking um, down and looking uh, elsewhere instead of looking to the camera which somehow uh, like caused lose attention and some um, like disturbances but and that was one thing and uh, you have used gestures well uh, but uh, I believe you could add that by adding more smile to that so that everyone can relax a bit and uh, like they can, uh, like your topic was very good, but if you could like uh, uh, deliver in a more relaxed way, then people could have like observe, observe the information better, what I feel under. And yeah, I think you... Uh, generate an interest well with the audience and engagement was also good as for me and yeah i think uh, to summarize i believe you just need to work on the facial expression part and also on the like eye contact part so I think that's all from my side. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Smriti, for that wonderful evaluation. With that, I think we can move on to the second evaluator, Toastmaster Alok. So I would request Malvika to bring Alok in the call. Oh, I think he is already here. Welcome back, Alok. Alok, the stage is all yours. You can go ahead and provide your evaluation feedback. Thank you. Very good evening, all, and especially my target speaker, Vijay. Thanks, Vijay, for sharing such an insightful speech to lead an extraordinary life. 
the three things which I really loved in your speech was the very first thing was you started with a very proven technique asking the questions. And that uh, helped to grab the audience's attention. The second thing which I really loved in your speech was your pace of the speech was pretty good, neither too slow nor too fast. So everyone could understand with your speech and your energy level was really very good. Your word clarity was good. So these were the some good point what I found in your speech. Now let me share some of the recommendation, basically three recommendations I would like to share with you to elevate your speech to the next level. The first thing, the unstrategic pauses. There were a couple of pauses you had taken which was not necessary in your speech. I realized that you, you were forgetting or trying to recall your speech which distracted the audience. So try to have like, I would like to give the very beginning itself that uh, is it bank balance, uh, like uh, to true life, good job, great. You had taken a long pause there and that was not necessary. Seems like it was jerking speed. This is what I felt. Second thing, you talk like very good, uh, topic you had taken, like how to how to have the extraordinary, extraordinary life, follow your passion and all that you talk. But personally, anecdote was missing. And personal anecdote is the things using which your speech becomes very sticky. Otherwise, it will evaporate. People will forget. And the third and most important change is which your speak, uh, speech uh, uh, objective was opening should have some emotion. You, are, you should have the vocal variety. And that I found the scarcity of all these two elements. You could have starting, like starting itself. You could have used the vocal variety. What is the true meaning of successful life? Is it good job, great bank balance or something else? My friends, can you tell me what is the successful life? Some vocal variety should be there, which was missing. And that was uh, the purpose of your speech to incorporate those things. So if you incorporate, just to summarize, if you include the strategic pauses, if you include the personal anecdote and some emotion, and of course, if you keep continuing with the speech structure, include your project objective in the mind, it will become a great speech. I wish you very all the best. Thank you, Vijay. Thank you, Toastmaster Rolog, for such a minute and subtle feedbacks provided to Toastmaster. Sorry. PJ. With that, I think we are left with the last evaluator. So I would request Toastmaster Malvina to share her feedbacks. I would request Toastmaster Gokila to take the timing. Good morning. Sorry. Good evening, Toastmasters and Toastmaster Vijay in particular. Uh, Toastmaster Vijay, this speech you delivered today was a wonderful and a motivational speech, not to not to um, not to mention. And uh, coming to your speech objective, since it was your level one project for second speech, the applied feedback uh, feedback that you had to apply was speech opening can have some emotions and use vocal variety. And I felt you did justice to that. There was great improvement from the previous speech that you have given. Good job for that. Coming to the speech, uh, what are a few things that I liked in this speech? First, as I mentioned, it was a very motivating speech. And I felt that it personally touched me. And I was having a push to go forward, come out of my comfort zone and do something extraordinary in life. That was a wonderful message that you passed through your speech, giving your three points. That is to 
you know find your passion self brand and be a giver which came out really well in your speech and the title choice i must say was really wonderful because initially when i read the title i had to read it a couple of times to understand but when linked to your speech the whole speech came out really well you had some vocal variety in your voice from the question to your speech and the eye contact you maintain good eye contact with the camera for an online meeting and had wonderful gestures appropriate and apt to whatever you were speaking but what is something that you can do to take your speech to a next level is you could have shared a personal anecdote of yours i know you are doing so many interesting things off scenes you could have shared a personal anecdote of yours you, you know in which you use these three points and how you are trying to live an extraordinary life you had a call to action in the end you told us to be uh, to follow our passion and you know live an extraordinary life but what is something that you did some example from your life you know it would be an inspiration to us it would be a very uh, unique thing you know which we can learn from and uh, one thing i uh, i would like you to really challenge yourself first with the flow of the speech you come up with amazing content amazing speeches whenever you deliver them but the flow i feel is getting disrupted somewhere the pauses that you are using you need not use so many pauses but uh, place them in the right places so i felt that the flow was getting cut and i could not digest the message to the fullest and um, initially when you were speaking when you asked us the question i felt that there was a long gap you could have i don't know if you were waiting for us to respond um but i felt that those were lag parts of lagging and which didn't take your speech very smoothly so i would like you to work on that and i felt that somewhere the preparation was slightly lacking i felt some confusion in the speech due to which the message that you were trying to pass not reach me um fully or the way at least you expected it to reach me i felt that there was some cutting off uh you can try a couple of methods to uh, when rehearsing your speech you know it, it sounded very i know you prepare a script but i felt that somewhere you are trying to remember what you had by hearted or something so there the message was getting cut so having a beautiful message like you know living an extraordinary life and living a fulfilling not it's not only about living a fulfilling and satisfying life but to become someone like bill gates or you know oprah winfrey when you do that and your delivery speech delivery is very important so i feel that you need to uh you can try a couple of techniques and the the method of delivery could be a little bit more improved so the message can be a little more impactful on all of us that's my personal opinion so other than that you had uh, your gestures your clarity eye contact you were very comfortable with uh, speaking and you are a wonderful speaker i should say you just have to work on the flow keeping the flow of the speech constant and the transition and uh, avoid too many pauses but place them at the right place so that your message can you know reach the listeners pretty well it's my point of view and um, and and, and uh, you can reduce you can prepare a little more so that the feeling of um you know by hearting the speech or trying to remember does not come within so that's much my personal opinion but other than that an amazing speech good of you that's it thank you toastmaster malvina for such a wonderful evaluation feedback thank you so much once again i see we also have our area director pranav raj joining the call so i just acknowledge him for joining this call taking some time from his busy schedule thank you once again in joining the call area director pranav raj with that i'll just move on to uh, sunil uh, sunil just wanted to check are you ready with your evaluation or mm. thank you so much sunil with that i think mm. i'll just ask those master gokila to let us know the timing if we are ready with that 
perfect thank you so much gopala yeah thank over you manish you. thank you over to you chief evaluator sunil uh, gokula before i start can you tell me the timings of each of the evaluators yes speaker tm vijay took 7 minutes 30 seconds uh one sec just hold on Seven minutes thirty seconds. Okay. Yes. Evaluator T M Smuti took three minutes ten seconds. Okay. T M Alok took three minutes twenty eight seconds. Okay. T M Malvina took five minutes three seconds. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gokula, uh, for that input. So I'll just get quickly into the evaluations per se. <clears throat> so what my the way i'm going to split the evaluation is what i felt was done well what i felt can be improved uh, and, uh, and and when i'm talking about the improvement areas i'll also talk about how i would have done it differently okay and like i said at the very beginning the caveat is very clear it, these are my opinions okay now i start with uh, i will not evaluate uh, the speaker per se because i'll be talking to the evaluators but i will delve into the speaker's evaluation uh, through the evaluators uh, you know evaluations whatever you call it now uh, i starting with uh, smriti i hope i'm getting the uh, name right uh, so i like the fact that you started saying that this is a message that resonated with you and uh, you said the structure was good and you gave a very clear indication of where you felt the structure was good see one thing you need to always understand when you are saying something is good it cannot be a generic statement it has to be a statement that has to be substantiated with evidence okay that uh, we had a education session recently in our club and the the, the education uh, presenter was saying that we need to give depth to our evaluation so when you say you like the structure then you should say you like the structure because he started with this he went into this and he ended with this that's why i like the structure that's one thing you said he lost eye contact but when did he lose eye contact is he, when he said this he was looking there but this is what he meant you should give that clarity you should you said he should smile okay uh, should he smile through and through or there is some place specifically that you felt that he should smile and it would have brought us closer to him uh, so these are the things which i felt could have been uh, done you said vocal variety he vocal variety was not fully there where did you think that vocal variety was not there okay for me for example vijay started with uh, saying that um, i think uh, uh one second uh, just just give me a sec um, uh he asked a question what is your dream that could be where you want to add vocal variety okay i'm just giving an example okay so that it connects and when i felt vijay started at the very low key any speech should not start at the very low key speech unless you are starting with something with a very emotional content coming in it should ideally come with a very high level of energy and that's where your vocal variety can come in okay uh okay now we go to the next evaluator that is uh, toastmaster alok toastmaster alok i felt and uh, you had a lot of good content coming in uh, you said you had a good uh, good beginning and you talked about three things that's a very good way of structuring an evaluation the three things that i want to talk to you about uh, you you said you like the asking the question the pace was good and uh, Yeah, I I I missed the last. Sorry, uh, you had three areas of recommendations for that. So unnecessary pauses, very good thing, and you gave an example of where the unnecessary pause was. That's very important. Okay, you can't say unnecessary pause and just leave it open ended. Then Vijay will be searching. Vijay will feel that there was only necessary pauses. Okay, and Alok is unnecessary pausing. Um, then the personal anecdote uh, make the speech sticky. An excellent suggestion, and the way that you put it was very good. But one thing I would have suggested is. what is the uh, place where i would have brought in the anecdote or give one anecdote you could have inserted that i would have spoken about my running a marathon uh, or something like that you know which basically means that i'm le leading a life larger than what it is uh, the vocal variety i like the fact that you really showed where there was a lack of local vocal variety uh, that's well done uh, but what happened in the end is my suggestion here is stick to 3 plus 2 three areas of which are good and two areas you think improvements are required and 
because then the two areas you can give a certain amount of depth because what happened was you ended up running into the summarization summary is important because in the uh, in your from a um, uh, from again from a contest perspective summary uh, has 15 marks so summary is important no doubt about it but if you run through the summary you will end up in that 3 minutes 28 seconds i'll come to that at the end of this session uh, when i when i talk of it further okay malvina you had a lot of good content but i don't have to tell you you took too much time the reason you took too much time was you kept going around in a loop okay i'm saying that in the beginning because you had a good you you gave a good start about how you wanted to go you had you brought in saying that you you personally connected to the speech and you said the message was there and you also brought in the fact that he should have personal anecdotes uh, and you said each of the first three aspects bring in three different anecdotes and which would have made it a much more impactful speech very well done uh, no uh, nothing gone over there uh, you said pauses uh, there were unnecessary pauses and i like the fact that you asked about the question and and you said, after the question, he paused, you paused too much. That's a very good way of doing it. So now at least Vijay knows that that is one place he should have done something different. Uh, but what I feel is subsequent to that, you kept on repeating things and going in a loop. Once you've said something once, leave it at that. Don't, because all of us, what happens is you know, we think we need to reinstate the fact again and again. Reinstating the fact... Uh, in any space, whether it's in your Toastmasters, regular meetings, or during the contest, doesn't make sense because you don't have that kind of time. You have three minutes, 30 seconds. You have to do everything within that. Okay. Now to bo all the three evaluators, my way of looking at things is I start, I start, I finish the first set of positive points or the uh, areas which I like uh, within the green space. Okay. And then by the time uh, you get into amber, I've already given the two areas of recommendation. When it reaches red, I have already start my summarization. Okay, because if there is a spillover also, I just take maybe another 10 seconds. And that's my personal opinion. You need to figure out what works for you. Uh, I had, we had, like I said, the education session, which somebody had come to our club. Um, Toastmaster Karthik was there. And he had actually said that you can do the summarization when it reaches red. Now, again, that's a personal choice. You need to figure out what works for you. Now I'm saying this specifically from the contest perspective. Okay, uh, when you do in a normal uh, club perspective, things may be different. You may be more relaxed. So please understand the contest brings in a, a lot more pressure. We may want to think otherwise, but that is not the truth. The truth is when you are there contesting, there is pressure, whether it's at the club, whether it's area, division, district, whatever it is, there's always pressure. So when you're in pressure, uh, you tend to do things which you normally would not do. Um, so, now, let me tell you certain things which I would have added. I mean, just for food for thought. Again, these are opinions. I would have, because this is an online space, Vijay could have gone back and forth of the camera. He could have come close to the camera. Guys, what would you guys have done differently? And then move back. Because we are in an online space. It need not be there. If you're in an offline space, that may not really work out. Okay. Um, when he said, he could have also used uh, things like, okay, when he summarizes, what I say is passion and uh, personal brand and be a giver. These are the three things I want you to take home today. Use one, two, three, you know, because that is much more sticky taking from what Alok said. Uh, I felt the speech could have been more concise in terms of the fact the beginning of the speech and coming to the main content took a lot of time. So you cut off the this thing on top and you bring in, uh, uh, and by the time you reach the first point at least i think one and a half minutes were over my suggestion is cut off the top part of it start with a quote finish everything else and then get into the main content and if you get into that main content quickly then uh, the speaker has more time to get into anecdotes and things like, like that otherwise it's just pure you know just content going around uh, in that sense uh, one other thing is he started talking about the story of the humble teacher but that story didn't get into a full conclusion you know, I got, I got hanging in between. So what's happening there? So these are the things which I felt could have been improved. And, uh, but one, a couple of, sorry, I should, I should, and as all evaluators, we should be motivating. Okay. Not just talk about the bad things. Okay. So normally that's why I say the good things should be three and the, uh, the things of improvement should be two. 
because the motivational point should be more than the uh, sort of like the areas of improvement because at the end of the day we want the speaker to come back on stage and deliver his or her next speech that's our our motive our point of content whether we do it at the uh, at the contest or whether we do it at the club we want them to be so energized that okay i'm going to work on these things i'm going to come back tomorrow and i'm going to be the next international speech contest champion that should be how we need to motivate them Uh, so the so there are a lot of positive points in vijay's speech i didn't talk about that uh, uh, my bad uh, from that perspective i felt he used a lot of metaphors eagle versus the crawling snake which do you want i felt that was a really good uh, way of looking at it and obviously pa- follow your passion relentlessly and obviously the three points that he brought out was very very strongly uh, brought out and what i felt was he was struggling Okay, but he had the courage to continue. That is very important. When you stand on stage, you will, you know, he like uh, what Malvina said. He he would have forgotten his speech. He took the pause. Then he restarted. That is important. As speakers, we may forget, we may stumble, but we when we have the courage to continue delivering our speech and then finish it. Okay, in spite of all this. Vijay still kept to the time allotted to him, seven minutes thirty seconds, and for that, he needs a round of applause and the evaluators also. Thank you, guys. Thank you, and giving me the opportunity over to the moderator. Wow! Thank you so much, Sunil, for such a wonderful feedback, and and I'm sure each one of us who are there in this call. will definitely take the positive out of that and they will definitely apply that in their subsequent sessions so thank you once again for such a positive so many good points coming out of that feedback thank you once again i think with that we'll just move on to the next next phase of our session which is question and answers so the forum is open for everyone if there is any question that you want to bring it up as part of this session to sunil please go ahead and put your question forward yeah i am having one question <clears throat> sunil like uh, as you mentioned like 3 minute 30 seconds there you need to evaluate and you need to make a balance 3 plus 2 more positive than uh, recommendation so like you mentioned like green should be commendation by amber you should finish the recommendation and red summarize many times it happens like uh, when you are summarizing you are trying to uh, trying to like i am on just borderline so any other further suggestion you are having like uh, how to take care uh, when giving the feedback in the so in my, terms of time yeah so my suggestion here is when you summarize don't try to repeat don't try to give you know when we summarize just put one positive point Uh, one one uh, you know area of improvement and one positive point and what i always do is try to end on a positive note mm. okay so uh, and try to figure that out uh, so we all have that sandwich method isn't it we start with something positive start with and we bring in the improvement area and then we bring in the another something positive and we end on the positive note the summary would generally be positive except maybe you can say yeah i mean uh, these things are very nice but you if you if you if you really uh, you know Uh, take a look at this aspect also i am pretty sure your next speech will be far better and finish it off that will be that should be just maybe uh, maybe uh, uh, one and a half sentence i would say the summarization nothing more than that we what we tend to do is we think the summary should also be 3 plus 2 need not be the summary can be just 1 plus 1 okay got you thank you thank you yeah. next question another one uh, one uh, more questions uh, like when we say like uh, commendation i might be have many but uh, sometimes i struggle like which commendation i should give uh, like here i was struggling let's say i like, first talk about the pause or even i was having something on call of action like not very succinct or crisp so which to sell i pick uh, any any your suggestion yeah so so my suggestion normally would be and this see it, it depends see the point what happens is when we try to get recommendations and all you we might end up that like for example i in my last division contest i remember i had gone there and then uh, i could only find one recommendation which is not very great 
and I got on stage and then it hit me that there is one more that I can apply. Okay, now the point here is that's, and then I somehow managed and well, of course I've become second. So obviously that didn't work out properly. But the, what the point what I'm trying to say is what you can do is you can look at one thing if you're confused, one, one thing on um, the stage delivery and one thing on the content. So if you're talking call of action could be the uh, uh, your content and delivery could be either the pause or the body language or something, but make it look at, look at things which are more substantial. Don't talk about that for in this case, in Vijay's case, eye contact might be, I would say, maybe the third or the fourth level. The first, maybe uh, uh, things like maybe the pause or maybe, uh, uh, maybe the content in terms of the way he structured it, that could be the first one or two. And uh, the other things might not might be minor, so that can come. Uh, that, so you then you look at it. Okay, these are these are really not adding value to the speaker. You look at it from your perspective as a speaker. Do you want to, you know, do you want to say that uh, I kept my hand in my pocket? I mean, that may not be what I want to hear. You know, I might want to hear something at a much higher order. So you need to figure that out. So my suggestion is one delivery, one one on uh, content. That would make sense. You know, so you are giving some value add on both sides. Thank you. Vikram. Sorry. Yeah. Malavika, I think you have raised your hand first. Uh, so I just had a question because obviously uh, from a contest perspective, evaluation is very different from a club perspective. In the contest, you don't have levels, you don't have uh, projects and all of that. But at a club level, you have a project, you have a guideline that you have to follow. So how important it is to make your evaluation um, kind of fit that guideline that is there? Is like, should we only see what is the... Um, project uh, outline or can we also like see beyond that when evaluating a club level speech so so the point is like this so there are a couple of points here if you look at the pathways evaluation sheet also the first sheet is talking about the guidelines okay the project guidelines it could be level two level three whichever it is path you know project one project two whatever it is but the second sheet looks at everything else you look at the second sheet it talks about eye contact talks about vocal variety talks about body language everything so you need to see, and also as evaluators, we also need to figure out at what level the speaker is. See, I can't have a, suppose I'm evaluating an icebreaker and I start saying his eye contact is bad, his body language is bad. That really doesn't make sense for the, the person, the, 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 the lady or the gentleman is standing on stage for the first time and delivering a speech. We should be really very motivating. So, okay, you have the courage to come on stand edge and deliver that speech without forgetting it, without notes. Hats off to you. Thank you. Thank you for giving us that opportunity to listen to you. But if suppose I am like, for example, I'm a level five speaker, or I've, I've been in Toastmasters for like 10 years, then I'm not interested in you giving me low level feedback. I'm actually looking at certain higher order feedback. So then, yes, you would speak about the project guidelines. Okay, he's supposed to deliver a humorous speech. He's delivered a humorous speech. Okay, fine, good. But how did he stand on stage? How was his uh, vocal variety? How was this, this thing? Everything makes importance. So you need to balance that. This is for the club I'm talking about. Okay, at the club level. So it is important to give guidance from a project perspective, no doubt about it, because that's a, that is our uh, duty as evaluators. But at the same time, if somebody is at a, uh, somebody's level is higher, then we have to give that level of feedback. We cannot give a very uh, feedback. And I don't want, and this I'm saying it to all evaluators, never have an evaluator come and say, I'm too uh, junior to evaluate somebody very senior. No, you have been given the mandate to evaluate somebody. Please uh, evaluate it based on your understanding in your opinion it's your opinion see for example if malavika will uh, evaluate me and she'll say sunil uh, you should not wear specs okay that's your opinion now i can take it or leave it that's my opinion okay so i hope i've answered your question now as far as the uh, uh, what do you call it as far as the uh, project uh, sorry um, project. your um, sorry uh, project guidelines obviously you have to keep but as far as the uh, your um, Contest is concerned, obviously, that you have to go, you have to look at the general guidelines, you know, how you do, meaning how the vocal variety, this thing, content, everything you have to see. Is that based on the ballot that is provided, like in the terms of the scoring that is there on the ballot? Yes, it is the judge's ballot gives you understanding of it, like the analytical approach. So, of, of course, that is the evaluators, this, uh, this one. Okay, there are two things here. Evaluator is judged by the judges. 
the evaluators uh, evaluation is judged by the judges using a evaluation judges sheet how many of you here have seen the judges sheet please go through it before the yeah before the uh, con evaluation contest now malvika when you are evaluating the speech the speech is on general guidelines okay it is on does it have a good message uh, how is the body i mean how is he used the stage he or she is used the stage uh, and things like that that's a general thing so you have to your your general application to it i hope i have answered that yeah okay uh, shashi sorry <laughs> over to you uh, yeah toastmasters thing yeah good evening so good evening. i want to ask like uh, whenever we are evaluating we will always point out like i am going to the positive th positive things and next recommendation and next the uh, summarization so instead of that uh, instead of like saying uh, this is your uh, positive like uh, i will evaluate your speech in three lines where you excel where you uh, where i am going to give the recommendation and to summarize like we can eliminate these words and we can directly jump into the uh, excelness and recommendation and directly summary you can you can see so, you know, the point here is okay so now i have different opinions on that i personally have done both when i did when i did not do this i when like for example in my last evaluation in the division contest uh, i didn't say 1 2 3 and 2 plus 2 and i didn't do all that i just went in because to be very frank with you i was not sure of what i'm going to say <laughs> i got on stage and then i was deciding what to say okay now the point here what i'm trying to say is ideally speaking um and again i take back i take from what uh, the education session that was done in our club by uh, toastmaster karthik for those who don't know toastmaster karthik he was uh, he was first runner up in the table topic contest at the district level okay so uh, so the point what he brought out that see sunil if you are a, if to think like a project manager okay those who are project managers so you say you you first of all say that okay i'm going to talk about 1 2 3 plus 2 and then i'm going to summarize and then the audience is already prepped saying that okay this is the way he is going to say it and then when you say it they will connect to that structure and they will have clarity in their head in the way that you're saying it okay so uh, okay so so what I'm, can i request her yeah she's she's muted no issues okay so what i'm trying to say is that uh, shashi is that there is no hard and fast rule there but i have found and this is my experience in the recent past that it's better to see i i even now i am not comfortable saying 1 2 3 plus 2 and so i will summarize i don't i will not say that but i am going to what i'm planning to do henceforth is i have three areas of recommendation uh, or three areas of uh, which i feel you have done exceptionally well 1 2 3 i feel there are two areas i feel uh, you could have done better if i were you one point two point and to summarize i would like to say this so that's what i plan to do going forward but then shashi there is no hard and fast rule there but the more easier you make pe for people to understand it is better okay now i want to give a a, a broader perspective here please understand the evaluation is also a speech it needs a good opening good body and good conclusion okay so you need you need not always do something of course i did something very funny during my uh, division evaluation not the best way to do it but i felt like i should do it at that point of time uh, just to share with you guys here uh, so the, during so the, the speech was regarding uh, somebody who was impacted by covid okay so somebody who was traveling from i think uh, bangalore to i think uh, kambitur or some place so somewhere on the line they they, they waited at a Uh, petrol pump and they opened the window and the petrol pump uh, person who was filling the petrol sneezed on to the gentleman and then from there his entire family got infected i mean somewhat that was the thing so i started off my evaluation with a sneeze now and i was told it was a very impactful thing because a lot of people were sleeping by then and they got up quickly <laughs> now the point here is i feel evaluation is also a speech so you start with a bang again having said that would i do that again might not have i done it in the past no i have not on that day on that stage i felt like i should do it 
does that mean i won the evaluation contest no i was number 2 so, so so the point what i'm trying to say here is you need to figure out what works for you because it is a speech it has to start on a high note because if you start in a high note you get the audience's attention and you get the judge's attention i'm saying from a contest perspective yes in your club you can do what i mean you can be slightly mellow or whatever it is but i always feel is even in the club you should practice saying like that because your evaluation is your 3 minute speech and you should try to figure it out like a 3 minute speech chaiche i hope i have answered i think i'm going all over the country said here <laughs> yeah yeah toshman sir thank thanks for your uh, opinion on that and uh, so another one quick question like can we use the same sentence for different kinds of ask like for example uh, in the today speech uh, when when i am going to give the positive like your audience engagement was very good what is your dream so i will take that in the recommendation you said like you if you are used a positive good like what is your dream instead of that you you would have directly ask what is your dream so i can use the same statement again and again is it impactful or uh, we will lose uh, the content there no you will not lose the content but the problem is the differentiation for the speaker will not come see you want specific recommendations and specific positive notes if you if you have the same things repeated again and again the speak as a speaker you think about it like this as a speaker you wouldn't you be confused so we should not so our recommendations and areas of every i mean our uh, the positive notes what you liked and your improvements should ideally be independent ideally but then having said that like for example you can say he asked a question like you i really like the fact that you just opened with a question what is your dream okay the same thing you can say yes the question was really good thought provoking but if there was emotion and voice for vocal variety in the same statement it would have taken that particular statement to the next level you can talk like that nothing wrong but you have to be very sure when you do that okay sure okay anything else thank you sunil uh, uh, does anyone have, have any other question one question like how to structure like we have limited time we have to like uh, first thing during the speech we will take take down few notes and we'll have to find out which are positive and negative things another thing how to structure in the limited time what extra suggestion we need to give like how we could have done based upon our example because we have limited time right so there's only one word i can use for that practice hmm. that's it uh, smriti uh, you need to keep writing evaluations even in the club Uh, like for example whenever somebody gives a speech i normally make notes whether i'm giving the evaluation or not giving the evaluation uh, oh, yeah. when i'm sitting for when i'm sitting in the for example when i'm sitting in the contest also i, I note I, i note down uh, uh, when i'm sitting in the contest also i note down uh, like we had the isc contest and then we had the evaluation contest and then we have the table topic contest so the isc contest i was making notes why is it making notes is so that i okay what what did that speaker speak what is good what is bad or i wouldn't say bad what is the areas of improvement and what i would have suggested you keep writing that even during your normal whether you are evaluating or not keep making notes so that will give you clarity and then compare that notes with the actual evaluator who comes forward okay how they have structured and then you try structuring you know you know how much okay three uh, the 3 minutes means 300 words approximately how would you do it you know uh, and then do it and i normally what i do is i i try to actually uh, your evaluation sheet which you use the blank sheet you divide it into four quadrants you know I, i don't know which is which is the positive points which are the areas of improvement recommendations and general guidelines you have certain things like was there a message um, did he end on a high note did he start well these things are generic things you can you can keep that as your you know things that you can write it down immediately before the speech starts then you can tick off okay there was a message uh, there was the it started on a high note 
it ended with a good message things like that you know you can tick off all that and then you can figure it out yeah but we have to give exact example right uh, we can yeah so that like i said now that has to that can only come through practice uh, okay. keep use your brain to keep practicing that Suppose yeah. now let us say if uh, let's say you, in your club people give speeches you sit down okay if I give this speech what would be my recommendations now or what would I have done differently things like that but it it has to be with practice there is not much you can do about it here I wish there was an easier way uh, I have given shitty evaluations I have given good evaluations some days are good some days are bad <laughs> not much you can do about it uh, yeah look yeah. Uh, like as you mentioned, like uh, evaluation is also a speech. So, uh, can I start with a quotation or end with the quotation, something like that? What you is your can. you can you can now? For example, uh, in in Vijay's speech, uh, uh, like I, I just give you an example: a job, uh, a, what do you call it? A job well begun is half done. Okay, suppose I make that this one. Then I connected to the speech saying that this is exactly what I would have said about Vijay's speech because half of his job is in the content and rest is left to the audience. Okay, now I have somehow connected it. Okay, it may be a very bad way of connecting it. But what I'm trying to say is you can do that. Nothing wrong. Or you could you could end it also with some sort of a quote. Uh, some people have a standard quote, you know, like for example, uh, journey of a thousand miles start with a single step. And this speech reminds me of that. God knows how it reminds them, but if you are smart enough to connect, please go ahead and connect. No, so in in perspective of like uh, judges' evaluation criteria, hmm. let's say you uh, uh, journey of thousand miles begins with a single step. Let's say somebody has like prepared, come prepared with some of the, the structure and just inserting this one. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. The so, only thing is, it should not sound forced. You cannot force fit it into it because what happens is, Alok, you, your evaluation also should be like your personality. Just like your speech is part of your personality. You need to, that needs to come out. So if you start to, you know, you know, force fit things and do forceful things and you are, you become the next Shashi Tharoor, they will find out that this guy is, a, I mean, doesn't make sense. So you need to figure out what works for you. you know, some people for them, a very grounded approach and a very, 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 very core, approach, very nice approach is better. For some people, a very high-end approach is better. But you need to figure out what your style is. Okay. I am used to, now I have found that uh, I read quite a lot. So I end up uh, pulling in what I read into my content and speech and evaluation and everything. Uh, but the point here is then I end up using words which I like using and I'm very comfortable using. But the point is, many times I've heard people saying that Sunla, I can't understand what you're saying. So <laughs> that's also not right because you are here to communicate to the audience. And if you can, so yeah, I, I leave it that, leave it at that. Uh, Gokula? Yes. So my question is on to how should we evaluate, practice evaluating as a beginner? When I'm observing the speech fully, and trying to evaluate by taking notes, I think I'm missing out some vocal variety or gestures used by the speaker because which is also an important. I feel that it is obstructing the flow when I'm observing the speech and taking notes. So how should I deal with it and be better? Okay, okay. so that is not really your problem. It's not like a beginner's problem. It's everybody's problem. When you start taking notes, you miss out on some things, you get certain things. Uh, so my... Uh, so the way I look at it is the more you practice doing it, uh, what happens is intuitively you start looking at things and intuitively. Now, for example, a lot of you guys have figured out that they, you know, he started off with a question. Why is it that we, we, we've automatically found that that is a positive point? Because everywhere in Toastmasters, everybody says that you start with a question. It is a very good way of starting. Okay. So my suggestion here is that you keep Working on it, you keep practicing. When I'm saying practicing, not just delivering, but also writing. See, one of our, one of our biggest problems is, and I found that with a lot of us Toastmasters, us Toastmasters, not only you guys, everybody for that matter, we don't want to write. We want to just come and just do something. 
your beginning of your speech is about putting the content on paper, paper sheet, whichever, whatever shit that you want to look at it, uh, whichever platform you want to do it. Okay. Sorry, I keep saying shit, but I've just come out of some other meeting. So all your respective ways. Sorry. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is that if you keep creating that content, invariably this will come to you, Gokula, but there is no easy way of it. Okay, I know for a fact that when you are, when you when you sit writing, you invariably tend to get certain things, miss certain things. Even in the evaluation contest or in in any evaluation, that's going to happen. Okay, uh, uh, so the more you are observant, the more you practice, uh, you know, writing the evaluation or noting down your observations, the better you will get at it. Okay, today you may not. Uh, tomorrow, I'm pretty sure if you are consistent in doing it, you will get it. So don't worry about it. Even then, even then, you will, mail, I'm sure, will not get 100%. But that is not what is important for you. You need to get the top three good things and the top two improvements with appropriate recommendations. Okay, that is what is required, not to look at everything. That I don't think anybody will be able to. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Samuel. Anyone ha still have any other question? Uh, one more last question from my side, Samuel. Just... <laughs> yeah. <look. laughs> okay. Like, uh, I generally attend a couple of others club meeting also and various times, like, I have feel that uh, sometimes uh, evaluator tends to talk something like good you have done good 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 and by the end there comes like uh, either time is getting over or something a uh, small like lollipop sort of uh, one feedback they give so is it a right way of doing that sometimes i feel that am i somewhere wrong or uh, uh, am i doing justice with this speaker so, so the question that you need to ask uh, Alok is like this. Now, Malavika in her uh, wisdom thought that I can add value to this session and she called me. Uh, but if I come here and I say, oh, Alok, you are an excellent evaluator. You did this well, you did that well, you did this well and this well and that well and all that. And finally I say, huh, I mean, you could have done something better. If that is my feedback to you, I feel I would not be adding value to you or anybody for that matter in this, because when I'm evaluating Alok and uh, Malvina and uh, Smriti, I am talking to the rest of the crowd because I'm adding value to everybody. That's what I feel. And that's what I would like to look at also. So my personal take is we should not be talking about all positives. We should talk a positive. Obviously we have to reinforce the positive because we want the speaker to come back. He, he or she has to be motivated. No doubt about that. I was of a different opinion earlier and I have learned quite a lot. And then we need to give that one or two recommendations, which are very pointed and very clear recommendations. See, you may have, and the other flip side also I have heard, I have two positive points, I have some 10 points I can recommend to improve, which is also wrong. You can do that, but you can talk it to the speaker offline. You go back after the uh, club meeting or during the break, you can tell, Look, Vijay, I think, you know, these are the things you should, you can look at. Maybe you can, uh, it can improve. Vijay will also appreciate it because you obviously have not, you know, you know, spoken about it in the open forum and all that. Uh, so that's it. So my thing is in the evaluation in the club, talk about the three, three or four things you like, really like the one or two things which you feel that the speaker can improve and give very solid suggestions on how he can do that. He or she can give and then close it at that. Subsequently, you can always talk about other things offline with the speaker, but not on the stage. Thank you very much, Sunil. It was really awesome uh, learning for all of us, I think. I really enjoyed uh, learning many things from you. Thank you very much for such uh, taking our time and uh, giving golden nugget to all of us. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank I think you. my judgment was right, so I have no regrets on that. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Thank you, Malvika, for arranging such a wonderful uh, evaluator. Again, I I personally echo that statement. Yes, Alok, you were very right. It's a value addition for all of us. 
if anyone have any other question or shall i proceed okay so i think uh, we are done with the questions and we'll just have to move to the next part which is the feedback sunil uh, how how is your feedback in terms of this overall session in terms of my own as a moderator and the overall audience the speech everything how did you feel about this uh, session today yeah yeah you're putting me in a spot uh, so i i think everything was done wonderful i i mean i, mean, I was really uh, i think one thing which i i found really great is uh, when malavika reached out to me and i was really is really surprised and uh, pleasantly surprised i would say that your club is doing this sort of a session uh, on a weekly basis uh, to uh, to bring out uh, more uh, you know better uh, get get your evaluation standards into a, uh, you know you know better uh, you know level and all that i think it's a very commendable thing uh, and i was my vp education was part of this session she's just dropped out <laughs> so uh, i was telling her that i, I was going to be here uh, i i think a lot of clubs should do this because i feel that evaluation standards uh, and i'm not saying uh, people that value of evaluation and the evaluation standards have dipped in many of our clubs uh, and i think this is a very good initiative uh, you know hats off to your club and specific to malavika for anchoring this <laughs> uh, anyways uh, that's all i have to add here thank you and speaker i have nothing i think he's had enough feedback for the evening i think vijay should just go back and work on the feedback i'm not going to give any more feedback to him uh, vijay thanks for being part of this and uh, you know um, having the courage to come and be, you know allow people to rip you <laughs> open <laughs> over to you here thank you thank you so much sunil for that wonderful feedback i think with that we are just moving to our last part of the session which is the vote of thanks so sunil thank you once again for joining this call i know it's getting late for you and rest of the people as well but taking time from your busy schedule it was a great great helpful to all of us i believe and i'm sure with those positive feedback which you have provided they will they will inculcate those feedbacks and they will apply those feedbacks in the new show in the future sessions as well so thank you once again sunil uh, i i just want to add one last thing and which is about this next session so for next week also we have similar session with another expert evaluator so with that i will close this ceremony thank you so much everyone thank you thank and you. have a wonderful good night this. very valuable yeah. thanks to neil for coming on board and giving us your uh, uh, amazing feedback i'm sure we've all grown more uh, knowledgeable thanks to the session uh, thank you malavika it was a pleasure the privilege was all mine <laughs> thank you all right with that we're going to close the session everyone have a good day see you all soon thank you Bye. thank you thank you all